Well, Louisiana is built off the mouth of the Mississippi River, one of the largest rivers in the world. And it's such an incredible supply of, of water and sediment and nutrients that it has, over the last 10,000 years, built uh, an entire coast. My name is Whitney Broussard. I'm a senior scientist with Jesco Incorporated right here in Jennings, Louisiana. So Louisiana is my home. This place means something to me. My family's been here for 250 years, 10th generation. It, it, is the ecosystem in danger? You know, danger is a, is, a, is, a, is a difficult word. There is certainly a change that's happening. So we, we map these wetlands because it is important to know where, where they are, where they aren't. Right? And knowing the, answering the question to where, I should say, uh, gives us a, 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 the information that we need to answer the question why. We've been working on this workflow to use the best technology that we have access to to create really high resolution maps of the coastal zone. And using drones uh, was, a, was kind of a, a logical fit. So we said, well, this is, this is nice. I can see it. You know, you can actually, the, the, the the, the images are so crisp that you can see the different plant types and even the individual leaf blades so we can identify the species that were present. Then that gives us an understanding of the drivers and, and the reasons why uh, these ecosystems are changing. Our, our steady state in coastal Louisiana is a, is a shifting target. And what we know of the processes that, that create healthy coastal ecosystem, those processes have been altered. And so we're working to try and recreate them to the best of our ability to bring that, that steady state back to a more um, uh, recognizable uh, and resilient ecosystem and so uh, it is certainly in peril and it, and, it, and it certainly needs our attention. The people recognize it, the politicians recognize it, the scientists recognize it and so it's kind of become this a regional issue, you know, people understand it, they care about it and so I think that that, that kind of collective effort, you know, it, it gives me hope.